Hey everyone, my name is Jermaine Bibb. I am a private pilot working on my instrument rating out of Bowman Field in Louisville, Kentucky. I am also a content creator and I work at Louisville Executive Aviation at Bowman Field's FBO as a lion tech. A major goal of mine is to inspire people who want to get into aviation while also completing my training up to a CFI. Eventually I want to fly jets and travel for a living. I've met a lot of cool people on this aviation journey and I just want to show the aviation life from my perspective. Thanks for watching and don't forget, expand your horizons. MVFR day here at Bowman Field. Going up with my boy Sean. Yes, sir. Got a new headset, huh? They might want to flip it. There you go. 7176, I forget. Do you park Cardinal Wing? Yo, can you, you got me? Yo, oh, got you. New like headset, uh, shoddy. You, you heard me? Back taxi all the way to the end. Turn left, taxi via Charlie Delta. New headset, new license. I don't know how to act, bro. <laughs> What's up, guys? Got Sean with me. We're going MVFR day at Bowman getting checked out at 172. Let's do it. Bowman Airport Information X-ray 2253 Zulu observation. Wind 3607. Visibility 5 miles with haze. Ceiling 2100 overcast. Temperature minus 1. Dew point minus 7. Altimeter 3014. Our nav, runway 33 approaching use. Has this weather information for the carrier? Is over on the flight service for the seat? Advise initial 10 heck, you have x ray. Whoa, oh, we're, we're oh, 64461. Cessna? Yep. Or Skyhawk, either one. Okay. Skyhawk 64461. Home and ground, Skyhawk 64461, Airbase 4 ramp with x ray. Looks better, better. better. Foam and ground, Skyhawk 64461 at Airbase 4, ramp with X ray. Look at stay in a pattern of pattern work, please. Number 6461, Bowman Ground, uh, runway uh, 33, taxi. Actually, wind is 010 at 4. Would you like runway 6 or 33? Uh, we'll, take, we'll take runway 33. Cessna 461, <laughs> Roger, runway 33, taxi via Alpha, Delta, Charlie. Runway 33, taxi via Alpha, Delta, Charlie. 461. So when it's wind zero one zero, so it's just a tailwind right now. I want to be back and into the wind, correct? So you want to dive away when it's a tailwind, right? Dive away. So it's coming from behind us, pretty right. much. So dive straight forward. Okay. And if it's at the so and then turn the way it's like it's coming from, I guess. So if it's like when yeah. So if it's coming from say it was coming from three three zero. Yeah. You'd be left and diving away oh uh, okay so dive so forward in the opposite direction of where the winds are yeah and when it's forward what they say you want to climb above the wings so back and Actually, into the wind right so Towards it's going to be neutral and into the wind oh uh, okay yeah so All if right. it's coming from two one zero just elevator neutral and right aileron uh, okay Bowman Tower, Cessna 64461, short of 3 3 ready for departure. 6461, Bowman Tower, left or right close traffic is approved, till advised, runway 33, clear for takeoff. Take right close traffic, uh, runway 33, clear for takeoff. 461. We are in the green. We are in the green. I'll put that up there. Hopefully, don't unplug my thing. All right. Feels down. All right. Airspeed's alive. Two speeds in the alive. green. Fifty. Fifty-five. We rotate. Ah, it's hard to see. Go so climb out of 80, 74.
Nice move there, huh? Yeah. Got him quick. Love that wintertime flying. I love it. The high wing's definitely different. Yeah. No cap. Do you still have a preference for the Cherokee, I assume? Uh, I mean, it's, I, I could get used to it. Yeah. It is definitely something to get used to. The 461, runway 33, clear for the option. Runway 33, clear for the option, 461. Go ahead and flip that pitot heat on as well. Everything's hard to see. All right, second on flaps. Uh, crossing over, what's the landing speed, 80, I guess? Yeah, so it's, we're going to be shooting for 65 on final. Okay. I just said 85 at the end of the downwind, 70 on base. Okay. That's 65 on final. Slow. Little left rudder. Left rudder. All right, so. Put them up in the up position and they'll come up on their own. Roger. Staying at 55. Five. Rotating. Building airspeed. All day. All day. I don't know why. But. <laughs> Towers, six four four six one. Got a quick question for you guys. Sure, four six one. Sure. Have you guys gotten any uh, reports of a lot of um, interference over the uh, over the frequency today? Sure, four six one negative. Are you experiencing that? Yeah, I've been uh, been fine most of the day, and frequently been picking up a radio station. It sounds like whenever, uh, especially on final for three three. Four six one. I have not heard anything like that, but I'll make a note of it. Thank you for that. Yeah, no problem. Six one. Hopefully, it's at least good music. <laughs> you know, I wish I could hear for long enough to figure out what it was. Number four six one. Runway three three. Clear for the option. Runway three three. Clear for the option. Four six one. All right, we'll shoot for seventy knots here. Huh? And make sure you're looking at the inside of that one. I think we were getting a little slow last time. Inside of the... So, and yeah. Then, it's just... Well, there you go. That, that worked out pretty good. Yeah. A bit better. I couldn't even really see it that well. 
I can't see this thing, I'll tell you that. Yeah. I don't even know where I'm at. Just do the, the three second thing. Yeah. A little high. Getting on glass slope. Dab glass slope. That's not your flaps. Dang, that's crazy. I'll get it. All right, 70. Oh, would you say 65? Yeah, 65 to 70. 70 is fine. Sounds good. And carpet and throttle. Uh, 55. Rotate. Like it's feel like it's just so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what I mean. Definitely. I can definitely see what you're saying on the rotation. Uh. That's all it is. Practice. It's literally. It is. Yeah. I'm like, how do all these guys get hopping from a diamond <laughs> to a Cherokee to a 172? We know what's so easy about it when you're an instructor. What's that? You're not the one flying, are you? <laughs> <laughs> that is you just true. gotta know your numbers, man. Know your numbers and you're fine. That is true. Hey y'all, as y'all can see on this flight, I was getting checked out in a Cessna Skyhawk 172 mic model. It's been a while since I've flown a 172, first time flying a 172 with a carbureted engine. And I want to shout out to my boy, Sean Buckley, the CFI who flew me and the channel was on point. The 172 is a bit different from the Cherokee that I've been flying for most of my training. But all in all, it was a good flight and I feel like I hit my goal and becoming more comfortable in flying PIC in the 172 mic model. Thanks for watching, stay safe and expand your horizons. Peace.